If you want to make your mark in the world, and I really hope you do, anonymity and obscurity is very overrated. The problem is most brands, personal or business, are hiding in plain sight. Well, my friends, it's time to step out of the shadows. Hey, welcome to the Loud. My name is Richard Mulholland. I'm the founder and chief evangelist of Presentation Powerhouse Missing Link. Now, one of the questions I get asked by people a ton, especially in our uh, professional speaking program, Story to Stage, is this. How can I stand out from the crowd? How can I be that little bit different? In fact, I remember years ago, uh, the other side of that, my son Callum came to me. He was about 13 or 14 at the time. And he said, Dad, you know, I'm struggling to fit in with the other kids. Like, how do I fit in more? And I understood that that was a big deal when, when, when you're younger. But I said to him, kiddo, don't worry about that. I promise you, you will spend the first 16 years of your life trying to fit in and you'll spend the next 60 years of your life trying to stand out. Humans want to stand out. We want to be a little bit different. What makes it difficult is quantifying how we do that. Like, what is the way, what do we have to put in place to make us stand out in the right way? And I was reminded of that TV show, American Idol, years ago, because Simon Cowell felt like, he, you know, he would always talk about the answer as he saw it. And he would say you have to have the X Factor. Hmm, hmm. You have to have the X Factor. Yes, you have personality, but dogs have personality. <laughs> the, the audition, if I'm being honest with you, was horrible. What does that actually mean? What is this elusive X Factor? I used to think it was like this weird kind of destination, this place that we had to find. Like we had to go out there and find the elusive X Factor. But I realized that I was thinking about it the wrong way. You know, I was having a chat with my friend Nick Harry Lambert the other day, phenomenal speaker, definitely check him out. And we were trying to break down this idea of, you know, what gets you noticed, what makes you stand out from the crowd. And what it was for me is that there is an x-axis and a y-axis. Now in a show like American Idol, this has already been established, that y-axis, we know what it is. It is that you want to be a singer. The x-axis, that's that little sound summon that makes you feel a little bit special. And that's what we have to figure out. The problem is, as businesses, or as speakers, or as experts, or as thought leaders, we spend all our time promoting the fact that we are the y-axis. I am a plumber. I am an electrician. I own a presentation company. I am a banker. That is uninteresting. It is only interesting when you say to me, I am in the category of banking, but I have do something special here. What you need to realize is that you, what makes you special, is the intersection between that x and y axis. That's the destination. What I understood that it was no longer about the place where the X was, but the X is actually the intersection of those two ideas. And that is the key word here for me. It's the intersection. What are you at the intersection of? Now, one city that I've probably traveled to more than any other city other than ones I've lived in in my life is New York. And if you ever go up to a New Yorker and you ask them for directions, they won't just say something like, um, oh, it's on 7th Avenue, because that's unhelpful. It's like, I don't know, eight and a half kilometers or something city like that. If you walk up to somebody in New York and ask them for directions, they won't even just give you the street, you know, the number. They won't say like uh, 351 uh, 7th Avenue, because even that, that's like quite vague. Like, where do I start? What they'll say to you is, oh, it's on the corner of 7th and West 34th. Now, all of a sudden, that gives you so much more information. Heck, if you're a local New Yorker, you know the type of suburb it is, what's happening up there. You know, you know it's so much about the economics of that area. There's a lot of information just in that intersection. And that's what I think we need to talk about. We need to figure out what our intersection is. Because, you know, the, if the category is the avenue, right? That big, big thing that we do. I own a presentation company. What makes us different then is the street that crosses it. That's the thing. There's like, ah, this, but this. That's what we have to figure out. And that's what most of us aren't doing. People aren't finding you because they don't, not because they don't know which avenue you're on. It's quite simple. They do not know your intersection. And that, my friends, is something that we have to remedy. Now, this isn't new. Hollywood figured this out years ago. They've been using this intersection thinking. If you were putting a, a script in front of somebody and you wanted them to have a sense of like, is this something they'd be interested in? On the top of every script was a very, very single line with an X and a Y axis. So it might say something like uh, Braveheart, but in ancient Rome. You know, like they understand our ah, Braveheart. Okay, cool. I've got, to, I've got to space my brain for that. But in ancient Rome, ah, I see where you're going. And of course, you probably do too. You realize what I'm talking about is Gladiator. And yes, that is what I'm saying. You know, that gives you so much information, but it gives you more information than just that. It lets you know the type of film you have, you know, what kind of cast do you need? Is it a large ensemble? Is it a set piece? Does it need, you know, big budgets for clothing? There's so much information in that one small sentence. So that's what we have to figure out. 
Now, this works across brands as well. Let's look at some brands and think about how would this thinking apply to them there? You know, like if you took something like Uber, Sure, their Y-axis is very simple. It's about taxis, but what made them different? Well, their X-axis was the app. Now, this might seem strange now, like apps and you know taxis seem so normalized, but of course at the time it wasn't. And Uber got this, look at this image. You find almost every image of Uber is a picture of a taxi and a picture of an app because that's what made them different. Sticking with cars, let's take another example where in fact, the Y-axis for Volvo, for example, is cars. But let me ask you this, what is the x-axis? Now, if you were born at a certain time, I would say, you know, if you're more than uh, 25, 30 years old, you know the answer to the question there. The answer is safety. By like what made Volvo special and what was on their access is they were the car, but it was a car that focused on safety. Now, they've been knocked off that spot maybe for a number of years now as the world's safest car, but it doesn't matter. That is their narrative. I remember a while ago, we did a, a talk teardown and we recommended as an underrated talk, Ite Talgum. Now, Ite Talgum do, does a talk that is theoretically about leadership leadership, but what makes it special is that he is not a business leader. He is a philharmonic conductor. He exists on the intersection of leadership and conductors. Now a talk by conductors, that's not necessarily that interesting. A talk about leadership may not that be that interesting, but a talk about leadership delivered by a conductor, all of a sudden you take up and, and you sit up and you take notice. And that is why this was such a great talk for us. Now, even my business, Missing Link, you know, the intersection, what is the intersection of Missing Link? I don't know, it could be like Toastmasters and the Sex Pistols, right? We've always been a little bit punk rock. But for the most part, it's relatively simple. On one side, the Y-axis is, as I've said it already, we are in the business of presentations. But that's not what got us noticed. For years, what got us noticed was the fact that we were in the presentation industry, a boring industry by any standard, and we were unconventional. It was this lack of convention that drew people to us because conventional presentations weren't working. They knew they had to try something different and we were the voice of the different. Whether it was the tattoos we gave to our staff and our customers or our wacky offices that people wanted to come and visit. Uh, and to get there, they could have climbed into our stretch limousine with flames down the side of it. And of course, on the other access, that all came together in kick-ass, amazing, effective presentations. That's what we became. Now, that was our story that turned us into the business we are today. As we go forward, though, I think I want to focus on a different x-axis and i'm very very excited to tell you about it but uh, today is not the time for that but that's what we have to be thinking about you have to define your intersection if you, you know what the problem is if you don't know what it is your customers and the world at large does not stand a chance so that my friends is your mission for this week i want you to go out there and figure out what is your intersection where do you live at the corner of make sure that the avenue the y-axis is something the world already cares about. If you're a street crossing a street, well, you're making it a lot harder for people to come looking for you. Go into an avenue that they're already looking for and then make sure you exist in a place that's different. Once you've done that exercise, let me know down in the comments, whether on YouTube or Facebook or LinkedIn, let me know what you live at the intersection of. Hopefully this has been insightful for you. If it has been, hit a like. If you found this new intersection that you're excited about, well then hit subscribe. Most importantly though, make sure you exist at the intersection of something that your customers care about. The only decent thing about that audition was the end. That's it for me. Until next time, go out there and define your intersection. Lead loud. Peace.